Welcome to my YouTube channel Yash Paranspe and you are learning C with Yash. So today guys is the time to go for the very first technical assignment and as the protocol tells you the first assignment is oftenly to display hello world onto the screen onto the screen means on the console console is also referred as the output screen or just we refer to it as screen so as i said today we'll be coding out the very first program to display hello world onto the screen and i hope the previous session that you have studied out history of c and each and every detail related to that is you know pretty clear with you you also we have also seen the general syntax of writing a program in C. So whatever we have seen so far is pretty clear with you guys, right? So with that consideration, let us move ahead. So from this particular point, I'm starting out. So yeah, what are we going to do in this session? We'll be, we'll be going through the very first program of displaying Hello World. So here I go with it. So let's discuss the very first program, the very first program to display, to display hello world onto the, onto the console. That console is also sometimes referred as output screen or output window or sometimes it is also referred as just the screen. All right. So hello world is nothing but this is just a standardization guys when when you're learning the technology and typically when it is the C programming. So in case of C in case of C, we always have the very first assignment to display this text and that is hello world. It is like a welcome program. This is something like welcome to the world of C. So hello world what I mean by hello world is just some 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 text that you are supposed to display it could be hello world or it could be any 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 text that you actually wish all right so here i am discussing something to display hello world all right so how to go for it all right so before before even going for the actual technical discussion of this can you simply think of developing the algorithm to do the same yeah can you think of putting down the algorithm to do the same now what is algorithm is what is algorithm tell me algorithm is nothing but it is well defined set of instructions which are executed in the sequence top to bottom and after execution of those instructions in proper order you're supposed to get the desired output isn't it well-defined finite set of instructions associated with any process any task anything that you wanna complete that is what is algorithm is so can you can you think of just putting the algorithm to do the same in english or let it be in some regional language whichever you are comfortable with it all right can can we go for it let's let's do the same let's do the same okay so let's let's do the same algorithm for the same algorithm for the same so yeah step number one the very first step has to be start and the last step whichever it comes out to be has to be stop or end isn't it it could be start or begin and the last step has to be stop or end all right so between this start and stop you're supposed to have the well-defined instructions stated in proper order according to the proper efficient logic and that algorithm is supposed to execute in the sequence top to bottom and finally it gives you the desired output so in this very simple case means this is a very simple program absolutely very simple stuff right so i personally don't thing any you know number of steps associated with this particular task means what i mean by that is here you have start 
here you have stop all right in between of this can i say i'll have only a single instruction and that is nothing but i'll say display and what is the text that you want display hello world onto the console onto the console what i mean by console console is nothing but that is your output screen console is nothing but it represents your output screen all right guys so this is what is the algorithm is so one two and number three and the algorithm is ended out that's it that is what is the algorithm is that is what is the algorithm is so as i have promised learning the technology learning the coding is nothing but you're just supposed to translate the algorithm that you have written in human understandable form that you are just supposed to translate it somehow so that the machine can understand it here you will have the creation of your first program here you will have the very first program of your c being created here you will have the very first source code or source file or the file with dot c extension being created and yeah that dot c file is just gonna hold these instructions stated in proper sequence but those instructions somehow would be in the form the machine understands out all right so we'll we'll go for the translation of it no doubt in that so this is how the algorithm will look like all right can you think of going for the flow chart of it very simple programming programming is absolutely simple nothing in that so algorithm you have developed out but yeah flow chart is also one of the simplest way of you know representing a particular task the set of instructions can be represented using human understandable language using some regional language and along with that it can also be represented using some set of geometric symbols which are much more easier for you to understand so that is where you go for the creation of the flow chart so can i think of just creating a very simple flow chart for it yes let's go for it and then finally we'll go for the coding of it so here i open out paint all right so let us get it expanded out let me save it control s where do i want to save it my complete data is organized out all right so here i have where is it c by yash in in this drive all right yeah in 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 d drive you have c by yash there you have screen recordings and let me create a folder out over here in which i'll be maintaining out the stuff let's say all images all right so here i'll be creating out the file so yeah it's the it's the flow chart for let's say hello world flow chart for hello world so guys in case of flowchart as well in case of flowchart as well i told you that you, you're supposed to use few symbols so the start is nothing but it is represented by a oval starting is represented by oval same start and end both are represented by oval all right and over here let's let's have a look at that so start okay fine i'll have a oval to represent it stop okay fine i'll have a oval to represent it display hello world onto the console display hello world display display so can you observe that it's the output process can can you note it out it's a output process this is just a note kind of thing for you right so observe 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 this as purely the output process observe this purely as the output process so what is input process what is output process so guys wherever you are accepting some input from the user i repeat wherever you are accepting some data you are accepting some input from the user the user using keyboard is providing some data on the output screen 
and your program is reading that data which is provided by the user accepting the data which is provided by the user that is what is called as input process that is purely the input process now what is the output process output process is something wherein you are displaying some output on the console on the output screen all right you are providing some data you are providing some format string a very technical word that i have used over here you are displaying something on the output screen on the console that process is nothing but that is categorized as the output process so purely can you see that display hello world on to the console display you are displaying the data is going out from the program to the output screen so that is nothing but that is purely the output process so yeah just 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 think think over it for output process which symbol do you have tell me which is the symbol that you use for output process guys so can i say that that is nothing but it's the parallelogram that you use a very huge flow chart that i have drawn out over here but that is fine so can i say that is nothing but that is the parallelogram that you have so this is how it is going to look like and yeah of course it has to be connected with the arrow so this can be the representation out did you got this so this is where you will have the step to represent it out and that is good that is going to be start this is how you will be representing start over here you are supposed to represent stop and in between you will have the actual output process stated out so that is what i can say display display hello world display hello world on to the console display hello world on to the console let me get it increased out that is fine this is fine all right all this is yeah this is fine display hello world on to the console all right guys so this is how the flow chart has to look like start stop start and stop start and stop both are represented using oval inside oval the process is stated out and in between of start and stop in this case in the very first program you just have one instruction set that is display hello world on to the console a output process that you are having and to represent the output process over here you have used parallelogram you have used parallelogram is that clear so this is very simple uh, just a beginner stuff right no now now we'll actually go for the technical implementation of it so how to do it right let's let's move ahead okay so as i said let's move ahead and actually let's have the very first code executed out so coming back to the discussion now which ide to use for the coding purpose so guys there are n number of ide's available in our case i'm using visual studio 2017 visual studio 2017 this is nothing but this is the one of the standard ide that i am using along with visual studio there are enormous ide's available n number of platforms are available to code out the stuff related to c and c++ so yeah just have a list of some standard ide's for c c++ coding now what do you mean by ide we'll be talking a lot on this as well what is ide this can also be a question asked in the interview certainly what is ide ide stands for integrated development environment integrated development environment all right so on 
at the initial level guys it's very difficult for me to tell you what is the meaning of ide and what the benefit ide provides so time being just put it on hold i do have it summarized out what has to be discussed and what not so don't worry about it we'll be talking in great detail about what is an ide right now you're not even seen the very first program of c so it is completely senseless to talk something about ide right now just consider it as a software which is giving you with some rudimentary facilities of you know creating the code compiling it debugging it building it executing it that is what is ide as of now for you at initial level so yeah i was talking something about the list of some standard ides so yeah visual studio is one of it now in visual studio as well there are a lot of options available 2019 is the one of the latest one here i am using 2017 you can go for even 2010 even 2008 is fine see you you don't require a latest advanced fancy software absolutely not not needed understand your system you know ki just summarize out the ram size the processor that you are having the operating system that you are having and get a simple compatible platform to work with c c++ absolutely not required don't go for visual studio 2019 2017 unnecessarily understand what configuration you are having even visual studio 2008 is absolutely fine we are just going to use it for c c++ coding so a latest version is not going to give you anything as such with respect to the language language is the same the compiler is more or less the same are you getting my point so any simple software is prefer out visual studio so 2017 i'll be using i'll be using 2017 all right visual studio 2017 i'll be using along with that eclipse is one of the option which is very popular open source so that you can go for all right so open source doesn't always mean that it is available free of cost understand the difference open source and a freeware there is a difference something which is completely freely available for you that is what is a freeware is which is not costing you at all it's free for download installation and use that is what is called as freeware freeware that is a freeware when i'm talking something about eclipse the word which i used is eclipse is open source i i i didn't tell that eclipse is eclipse is a freeware eclipse is open source all right like for example those are comfortable with java to some extent you might have heard it java is open source java is open source what is the meaning of it open source means what open source means it is firstly available free for the download and you are permitted to make whatever changes you want to it and it is also valid it is also legal to redistribute it further with whatever changes that you have made so that is what is called as open source so talking something about eclipse eclipse is nothing but it is open source all right so i'm not going to discuss it out i just want to concentrate on the very first code so netbeans is one of the option available which works fine on windows platform linux platform even on mac os and solaris so eclipse i mean netbeans also provides you with you know support for c c++ coding code block is one of it code blocks is one of it then you have developers c++ which is popularly known as dev c++ this is also one of the ide that you can go for so blah 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 stuff so etc n number of ides are available according to your choice you can go for any of the particular ide here i am using visual studio 2017 it is installed on my system all right in case you want a separate guide over it you want me to help you out i'll be definitely putting one more video out in which i'll be showing the installation of visual studio as well all right so let's move with this so yeah as i said it's already installed on my system so the way to open it out is over here over here you can just 
टाइप डी ई वी ई एन वी डी ई वी ई एन वी डी ई वी ई एन वी इट स्टैंड फॉर डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट डी ई वी ई एन वी इट स्टैंड फॉर डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट सो दिस इज आफ्टर यू हैव विजुअल स्टूडियो प्रॉपरली इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन योर सिस्टम सो या दिस इज द आइकन दैट यू विल बी चूजिंग आउट सो जस्ट हैव अ क्लिक ऑन इट वेन यू आर ओपनिंग इट फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम इट मे टेक सम टाइम दैट इज ओनली फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम और राइट सो फॉर्चुनेटली इट हैज ओपन आउट राइट सो दिस इज दिस इज द आई डी ई गाइज लेट मी मैक्सिमाइज इट आउट फ्रॉम हियर this is the start page that i'm closing i don't want it right all right so this is the ide just have a look at that beautiful ide over here you have the solution explorer your solution in that solution the projects that you will be creating in the project the relevant source files that you will be having everything will be observed in this panel out okay this is what is called as solution explorer solution explorer right fine so how to move ahead means it's fine this is opened out so how to move ahead you need to move into file file new project i repeat file new project file new project so let's let's move into that file new project after that in visual c++ in in inside visual c++ inside visual c++ the very first option that you need to select out that is windows desktop inside visual c++ the very first option that you need to select that is windows desktop for this windows desktop let the corresponding selection be console app console app all right console app and here you are supposed to provide name to your solution what am i using the word i'm using the word solution you're creating a solution right now when you move when you move to file new project it's actually a solution that you are creating i'll tell you what is the meaning of that every every detail i'll be telling you don't worry about it so here i'll be naming my solution i'll be naming my solution so what can i name it forget this i'll be choosing the i'll be i'll be having the path as well so where i want to go where i want to keep it i want to keep it in d drive yash c by yash paranspe c by yash paranspe i selected the folder out right so in d drive in d drive i have a folder the name of which is c by yash paranspe in which in which i'll be organizing out the stuff so yeah now here i'll be naming out the solution so what's the name of it so can i go for let's say all all c demos all c demos this is what is the name of solution that i have given all c demos everything in capital say okay to it say okay to it okay okay say okay to it and that's it it will take some time initially for the very first time after that hopefully it's not going to take much time all right so yes now now observe the stuff guys can you see this the, the one which i have i highlighted solution all c demos this is the solution which i have highlighted this is the solution the one which is highlighted out this is the solution now now come a step down can you see this all c demos this is the project this is the project and fortunately the name of the solution and the name of the project is by default the same for the first time the ide is providing you with a ready made project one project is also created by the ide for you the name of the project is same as that of the solution that is all c demos all c demos this is the this is the project all right now inside the project you are having different folders references external dependencies header file resource file everything we are going to discuss out in a great detail but not a right time to discuss all the stuffs the sensible option you need to think and that is source files source files so just have a double click on it so in that source file as well can you observe 
one one file one source file with the same name is provided to you but the extension of it is dot cpp dot cpp cpp stands for c++ file so have have you know just observe the file this is the file that you are having a default c++ source file is provided to you but we are not in c++ we are not going to work with c++ this file is right now of no use to us so what to be done just temporarily move this file out remove this file temporarily and that has to be done by having a right click on it and you need to say exclude from project exclude from project so have a click on it and that the file will go later if you wish you can include the file as well i'll also show you that don't worry right now just exclude it and this is the source file folder in which in which you are supposed to add your .c file this source file is supposed to contain your source code your source code is nothing but that is the .c file that will be creating it out so how to create it right click on that source file say add new item i repeat right click on that source file say add new item new item that is that that you will be choosing out so choose it great in visual c++ over here can you observe c++ file can you observe this select it select the c++ file but while naming it over here the extension you are supposed to provide it as dot c this is the most important thing the extension that you will be providing that extension should be dot c we are not creating a c++ file if you don't provide any extension to it then the default extension would be chosen out and that is dot cpp we don't want that you want to create a c source file all right so just name it properly so can i go with hello world src src represents source source code source file source code right this is just the naming convention hello world src dot c this dot c is very important guys dot c is very important the extension has to be dot c only then your file will be treated purely as the c source file and over here as well you can give any sensible name of your choice whatever you want so just i have specified the name as hello world src dot c and say add to it here you will be saying add to it say add to it beautiful so can you see the source file is being added out all right so over here can you see hello world src dot c and this is the area in which you will be typing down your code all right so can we move ahead with the actual technical part now can i can i create out the code for you guys let's let's go and create out the very first program so how to go over it go with it so here i'll go with it here i need to say hash include std io dot h then i'll go with int main in bracket void open the bracket close and just before closing you need to have one statement written zero and here you'll have the actual code guys all right all right this is this is pretty known to you isn't it control s is the shortcut to save now again i repeat the template of general program of c the template to create a general program of c the template to create the main function in c i just want you to by heart it i don't want you to understand any single terminology i don't want to understand any single element present inside it i don't want that it's impossible right now we are learning c we are at the beginning so as i had repeated just by heart this template and just put it as it is guys nothing is required i assure you i am there with you 
let us complete the topic called as preprocessor which will be completing in few days of time and after preprocessor come back and go through the template and then tell me whether you are able to understand it or not not today today we are just going to put it as it is it is by hearted we don't know any single element out of it all right this is just what i have requested you to do great so now as i have told you as i have already told you we are just supposed to translate the algorithm isn't it what are we supposed to do we are supposed to just translate the algorithm which is in human understandable form that algorithm has to be translated somehow so that machine understands it so the step that you are having start the step that you are having stop is nothing but that step is represented by this opening curly bracket and this closing curly bracket is representing stop that is that is what i mean that is the importance of main we have already studied it isn't it guys let's have a new file for that let's 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 all right so let's have it okay so let's go with let's say first c first c program all right so here i go with the algorithm here i go with the algorithm step number 1 is what let's say start after that you have display let's say hello world display hello world on to the on to the console isn't it and the last step that you are putting it is nothing but it is stop so for this corresponding for this algorithm in the code for this algorithm in the code what are we doing we are putting the general template that is hash include we are saying std io dot h hash include std io dot h then you are putting int main in bracket you are putting void all right you are opening the bracket and 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 somewhere you are closing it as well and just before the closing as per the protocol you are writing return zero isn't it so so this main the importance of main function as of now for you guys is nothing but main serves as the entry point for your program execution so there should be a, there should be a door there should be a point from where the execution should start are you getting my point so the function main is nothing but it is serving as the entry point for the program execution so the translated form of this step start is nothing but it is this opening curly bracket of function main similar to this this is what is representing the end of the function main this is what is representing the end of the block all right so this is where you are actually representing that the main is ending this is the block of main a pair of opening and closing curly bracket now what has to be translated now what has to be translated display hello world on to the console this is now which what is i actually want display hello world so how to do it a great question mark how to do it isn't it how to do it display hello world on to the console so guys this is nothing but this is a well defined instruction that you are having display hello world on to the console display hello world on to the console this is one of the well defined instruction that is stated so so for this the very first time you are you are supposed to use one of the built in function you are supposed to use one of the built in function the name of which is print f the name of which is print f so what what exactly did i spoke here here we will will go for one of the built in function here we'll go for one of the built in function print f print f 
this is the name of it it's the name of it all right question mark a lot of question marks over here what am i speaking exactly see my dear guys very soon we are going to learn a very interesting and the most important topic of c and that is called as function function is one of the most important topic which is there in c which we are going to study in great detail but that is going to require some time that is going to require some time in that journey in our journey until the start of the concept called as functions we are also going to use n number of built in functions n number of built in functions so one of it is nothing but it is printf the one example of it is nothing but printf printf is the name of one of the built in function which is available so how will you understand what is a built in function what is basically a built in function for you means at day one you don't even know what is c how to program out the stuff so it is my responsibility to teach you what is built in function i'm trying to visualize it out so understand guys built in function as of now at initial level this is a very rough definition that we are constructing just for your understanding built in function is nothing but it's a ready made tool it's a ready made tool which is dedicated towards some specific task it is dedicated towards some specific task as a programmer initially you should have interest only in understanding the name of the function and the task it is dedicated for and the task it is dedicated for further ahead you need to learn the way to use it and the time to use it in the coding you got my point what did i spoke so yeah i'll i'll, I'll go with it built in function built in function or you can even talk something about function this is also applicable to the concept called as function in rough terminology so built in function is just a ready made tool which is dedicated towards some specific task towards some specific task all right as a learner as a learner as a learner you should have you should have interest only in only in understanding the name of the function understanding the name of the function the task it is dedicated for the task it is dedicated for the way to use it the way to use it here i am talking about the syntax of using it all right and the time to use it and the time to use it time or you can say the place appropriate place to use it in the program all right this is what is a built in function is for you so one of the one of the example of the built in function is printf all right so let's move ahead so what is this printf basically and what is the task it is dedicated for so printf is one of the function which is dedicated towards the task of displaying something onto the console so this is what is the job of printf is this is the importance of printf that is why over here we are supposed to make use of the built in function printf all right all right i getting my point over here over here in in the place of question mark display hello world onto the console what are we going to use make use of the built in function printf because printf is the function which is actually making it possible for you to display some text on the console it's a function that is provided to you all right so how to use it so how to use it can you can you just explain it to me yeah it's very simple so observe it out so just you need to 
just you need to type the word print f just type the word print f everything in small just type the word print f followed by that open a round bracket close a round bracket and and within the round brackets inside the round brackets have a pair of two double quotes all right and further ahead this printf has to be terminated with a semi colon the reason is this is nothing but this is purely a statement that you are representing it out so come back once again once again how to use it just type the word printf everything in small without any spaces open a round bracket close the round bracket within the round bracket have the pair of double quotes have the pair of double quotes and further ahead just terminate that printf with a semi colon because because it has to represent a statement all right now the story is not over whatever you write inside the double quotes whatever you write inside the double quotes whatever you write inside the double quotes is as it is displayed on the console this is what i'm speaking for the very first time at initial level it is having some terms and conditions to it that is also what we are going to discuss out but for your understanding at beginning level this is what you need to learn whatever you will be typing whatever you will be typing between the double quotes of printf that is technically termed as format string that is what is termed as format string the technical word for it is format string that format string is as it is displayed on the console provided 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 it do not contain any escape sequence or it do not contain any format specifier so whatever i spoke right now is out of the scope you don't know what is escape sequence is you don't know what is format specifier is so nothing to worry about i am there with you why are you worrying i am there with you i am going to explain you each and everything just wait for your understanding as a beginner as a learner at initial level just understand whatever you type whatever you type between the double quotes that stuff is displayed as it is on the console and technically that is termed as format specifier all right so what 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 exactly do you want to display out tell me what 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 are you supposed to display out where is your where is your algo okay what 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 you are supposed to display out hello world right just copy this hello world come here between the double quotes just put that hello world over this hello world will be displayed as it is on the console your very first program is absolutely ready and it's in a position to execute so how to execute it so save it first of all control s is the shortcut to save now the standard way of executing the code i'll tell you first compile your code so how to compile it right click on the source file and and just say compile compile right click on the source file and say compile here you will be observing the status of your execution during the very first time it will take some time so here you can see build succeeded build is succeeded all right after that ideally you are supposed to have the right click on your project right click on the project and then go for build let it succeed as well here you can see the status build succeeded we'll have a look at the stuff as well guys what is compiling what is building what is linking what exactly happens when you execute the code every execution phase i'll be discussing in a great detail with you nothing to worry about so yeah i repeat compile your code right click on it and say compile after compiling you can actually go and build it out and after building after building this is where you can have a click this icon is there okay so this is where you can actually have the execution of it 
so during first time it may take some time and that is the output that you have observed for the very first time enjoying it can you see hello world yeah this this screen is nothing but called as console this black window that you can observe this is called as the output screen or you can even refer to it as console all right so let's have a summarization over it so what exactly did i talk about printf so what is printf basically let's let's have something about it so printf printf is one of the built in function printf is one of the built in function it is used for displaying it is used for displaying something on the console it is used for displaying something on the console so this is the task that it is dedicated for something means what text something means what some text it is used for displaying some text on the console all right are you getting this so what what exactly is the way to use it you're supposed to say printf everything in small you're supposed to type printf everything in small and over there you need to have the opening and closing of the round bracket further it has to be terminated with a semi colon inside printf you need to have the pair of two you know double quotes pair of double quotes that you need to have and whatever you are supposed to whatever you will be typing over here as it is will be displayed on the console did you got this and the technical terminology for whatever you actually provide between the double quotes it is format string it is format string did you got this so what i told you i told you the format string the format string is displayed as it is on the console provided it do not contain it do not contain any escape sequence any escape sequence it do not contain any escape sequence or or any format specifier did you got this now what is escape sequence what is format specifier this is what we are going to discuss a bit i had at that time i'll be i'll be showing you i'll be using these stuffs as a part of format string and i'll be telling you what exactly happens and what is the meaning of it did you got this so this is this is this is something that we have learnt out today so this is nothing but it is also representing a statement truly honestly speaking it's a function call the printf function is declared in the header file std io.h this is what you are actually calling it when you use the function printf right this this one this is actually a function call you are calling the built in function printf but all these things are beyond your scope right now no need to discuss it you won't understand it we are going to discuss this in a great detail guys i am there this is all advance c that we are going to discuss out but as i have already promised you you know this is from the scratch will be going very slowly i just want you to lean back and enjoy these sessions means nothing separate practice is required whatever i am speaking you should be able to understand and you know wherever required you need to produce it out not even printf i am going to discuss the complete printf family to you means you know there are n number of options available printf is one of it after that you have f printf then you have fw printf did you got this you have sn printf then you have s printf after s printf you have sw printf then you have vf printf then you have vs printf i think you have vsw yeah vsw printf this is also one of it vw printf is one of it only w printf is also one of it and lot of printfs are available so when i'll be discussing the printf family with you 
I'll be covering out maximum printf's which are in the scope. There you will be enjoying it. So every every detail we are, we are gonna see out, but the pace would be as we are going, and each and every single word as well will be explaining and will be talking about it, right? So I think you have enjoyed out the session. The very first program is ready. All right. So yeah. See you soon with the upcoming sessions and in case you like my video, in case you like my training, then please do subscribe my channel Yash Paranspe for all the latest uploads that I'll be providing. In the channel, I have created out one playlist. The name of the playlist is See with Yash. This playlist will be containing all the subsequent videos and as a promise, the complete C right from scratch to the end will be provided by me and I assure you, you'll be enjoying out the sessions. Thank you so much guys.